I'm going to let the streets de decide. You see, um, this channel is built for the fans. It's built for the fans by the fans. So I'm going to, let the, so I'm, I'm going to put out a poll. And my poll is, do we induct the Premier League or do we put the Premier League under review? One, one of the things is it's going to happen. Either we induct the Premier League or it gets put under review because we have to address what we just saw. Now, there are many machinations here because, see, for me, with regards to the title race, we're going to talk about that later on, on um, in the Sunday hangouts, where we just like we can look at things, big picture world and everything. So this is going to be totally focused on the game. I want us because <laughs> there's a lot I have to say just about this game in specific. So, but I want us to start by saying that I'm, I will put out a poll because we need to decide what we need to do with the Premier League. Because I'm not going to lie to you guys, I was I was lying down when I was, while I was watching this this match. I was lying down. I couldn't like, like because I couldn't believe what I was seeing. But just to set the stage here, bad results for City, not so bad for Arsenal. Arsenal, you missed a great opportunity. Arsenal, you missed a great opportunity. So, guys, it's the live reaction and so forth. You know what it is, guys. Remember, guys, like the vid, subscribe if you need. If there's anything you wish to add into this reaction, feel free to send a super chat. Remember, guys, your super chats and your dopes help to keep this channel growing. And I thank you, thank you for your donations, your dopes, and your super chats, man. So, guys, let's just let's just let's just, let let's just, just let's let's set things in in motion right now. Let's set things in motion right now. Um, so. Now let me let me give my take and then I'm, I'm, I want to go around the room, especially to the Arsenal fans. So it was, it was it was a trash game. If you're an Arsenal or a City fan, I don't think you, you you care. But here's the thing, though: as a neutral, game was garbage. It was ass cheeks. As a City fan, you should be pissed off because you're at home, you're third. You should be playing a lot better. As an Arsenal fan, hey, hey, we're still in the title race and we didn't lose. So we're still in a good position with our eyes targeted on Liverpool, who still have to play United and Tottenham. But if you're the Arsenal fan and you want to be honest with yourself, and if you're an Arsenal fan and you want to be ambitious, you are very disappointed because Arsenal could have won that game. Arsenal could have won that game. Because, like, second half, City got better because I, I, I tweeted out, I said, in that first half, those first 45 minutes are the worst 45 minutes of Man City under Pep. Someone tell me otherwise. Those first 45 minutes, the worst I have seen City look under Pep Guardiola, first of his name from Catalonia. Worst I've ever seen. So knowing that for Arsenal, you had the chance there. You had the chance there. You had the chance in that first half to be like, let's say what's up. Let's say what's up. So now I'm going to put out a poll with regards to do we induct the EPL or in review? But I'm not going to put a, a, a poll with regards to Gabriel Jesus. We are already preparing his papers right now and we're looking at Class B. Looking at Class B for Gabriel Jesus. And I feel ashamed because years ago, I called him a bowler. I said he's from the favela. He has that street thing. That was years ago. 
In 2024, Gabriel Jeremiah Jesus, first of his name, is a Class B brick. This is the facts. He was horrible. And Jesus lost Arsenal that game. If Arsenal had trusted on that left, or they had Martinelli, if they had, if Arsenal had trusted on Martinelli in that left flank, I think Arsenal at least get a G in that first half. At least they get a G in that first half. Jesus is trash. He's done. He's finished. Bro, don't even think about going to freaking Miami, bro. Shout out to um, Gracie Bonner. I know my Miami Shout out to Mario Gagliel. You ain't seen no Mario Gagliel oh at the Cup of America why, why this summer. Why are you shouting these guys? Okay, you're, so, so you're, you're, not, you're, not, you're not seeing that in Miami. So, she doesn't know you. She Gabriel Jesus, you. not good. So, for both, for City, very disappointed. See, if you're City, you, may, you, you, you messed up. You, you messed up. You're third. You're at the crib. You're the defending champions. This is where you have to take the initiative. Should he have brought on Doki earlier? Should he have brought on Grealish earlier? This, that, that, this. We'll talk about Erling Haaland, the Earl of Norway guy that can't control the ball. So many different things. But for City, you messed up. You had to, City. This was this was a must. This this in a way was a must win for City. In a kind of a way. Now, I feel there'll be more twists and turns in the title. Is the title race over? Heck no. The title race is not over. But for City, at this stage of the season, this is an unlikely place that City find themselves. Now, in a similar place, Arsenal were saying what's up, but the issue right now is Arsenal are ahead of you, Liverpool are ahead of you. And now you don't have to rely on them to now um, see what's up. But I want to focus on the game. I think for Man City, that first half, they were horrible. They were horrendous. And this is what we say by Haaland. Is Haaland a great goal scorer? Of course he is. Haaland is going to destroy records. He's going to lubricate and test you and menstruate all the goal records. As a footballer, he is garbage. He's yeah, yeah. He's nonsense. Just be, be, be in facts. Because if you're a better player, you can come in deep. You can control the ball. Because I did see how I did see him lose possession of the ball. I didn't see him have a, a bad first touch. I didn't see him not be able to grab hold of the ball, carry the ball, and try to create for other players. And you know what? As I was watching that, my eyes went to the bench. Julian Alvarez, what's up, baby? Because if I'm Julian Alvarez, World Cup winner, I didn't sign a bowler. Passes the ISIS with flying colors. What am I looking at that bomb ass 16% ice test um, bomb from Asgard going ahead of me? I feel away. Pep, what's up? Pep, what's up? So, overall, and then I want to kick this out to everyone else. Um, I expected more from both teams. Because when we did the preview, the way a girl was talking and the way Dyer was talking, that was not the the, the performance. A hashtag that I saw. three one three one hashtag three one. No no no. I, beyond three one, just the way they were talking was like, man, ask these guys are really good to play confidence. So for and and for, I find I get it for Arteta, conservative, pragmatic, trying to win the game later on. But for Arsenal, you, you, Arsenal didn't did not arrive as if they wanted to aggressively want to win the game. So I was very disappointed with the approach for City. Now, they were better in the second half. They got a lot better. When Grealish and Doku came on, they improved. But the game ends 20 minutes. It ain't 25 minutes. It's 90 minutes. So those 45 minutes, you can throw them in the bin. <laughs> so you wasted 45 minutes doing nothing. Doing nothing for 45 minutes. And when you just look at this whole thing, big picture-wise, for Pep Guardiola, you're like, Man, we should have won that game, bro. We should have won that that game. So it's wild, man. So let me come to Money Miss. So Money Miss, talk to me. Are you Which okay. do you want me to speak on first? The performance from Arsenal. Arsenal's per per performance. I think the tactics were right. And what's it called? I just think the forward players didn't execute when they get their chances. Like Trossard should have scored. Jesus, when Saka squared it to him, should have scored. The one which came off of his chest should have scored. 
the one where Bernardo Silva sticks out his leg and he should just shoot, but he tries to chop it and take it past him, should hit the target. HH, Arsenal had enough chances to go out and win the game. Our game plan was actually good. We went out there, we defended, we nullified City. Because I'm sorry, people want to... The agenda is already out online. It's Arsenal's fault. It's Arsenal who ruined the game. It's, we're the reason why the game's like this. Well, yeah, we're not entertaining. Go look at Spurs. Look how entertaining they are. Go look at Chelsea. I, I, everyone loves watching Chelsea games. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. Go look at where everyone. Go look at where they are on the table. End, end to end. That's what end to end gets you. We're not the reason why the game ended up like this. We implemented our tactics. Our game plan was to go out there, defend, and hit them on the counter. And we had enough chances to go out and score on the counter. Can anyone point to a noticeable City chance? Can anyone point to a, a, a chance that City had where they? Howland missed the ball. Howland <laughs> missed the yeah, ball. Yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. He, he missed, but there was only like a clear cut. Wow, guilt edge chance that we they should have scored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We actually made clear cut chances for as defensive as we were, for as little as the ball we had. Arsenal actually made clear chances where they should have scored. City made nothing. City for 90 minutes made nothing. So if you want to blame someone, go blame the person who, who Juju Man told me was the face of football. Go blame YSK's um, favourite footballer who told me is the face of football. Go, go blame that shimmy merchant Doku who, who skied it over the bar and did nothing when he came on. Uh, 93% on the eye test. 93% on the eye test. Yeah. <laughs> No, what's it called? That that Man City Hamza, he calls him what's it called? Baby Ronaldinho. He calls Doku Baby Ronaldinho. Go go blame Baby Ronaldinho for how the game ended out. Where was Foden? Yeah, exactly. Foden don't have a good game, bro. No. People, people want to say that it's our fault why we won the game. No, no, okay, no, no, it's not, no, 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 I'm sorry. Like, no, 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 no. The, the agenda's the, Arsenal, out there. like anybody blaming Arsenal, you're if you're a moron. Because if you went out there and went end to end, what's the result? Yeah, no, 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 for me. That's what, even when I said in my reactions that City are third, they're the defending champions, they're the favourites in the game, and they're at home. So it is on you to, because again, if City score, we have an open game. So City, it is it is down to you to break down Arsenal's double-decker boss and score, because once you score, we now have an open game. But if you don't score, why should Arsenal come out? So Arsenal like, no, if you score, okay, now the game is different. But if you don't score... All right, break us down and we'll try and, and counter. So the onus is on Man City. Man City just could not break them down. Like, how could you blame a team for I'm um, defending deep? No, be be better. Do better. Be more creative. Dribble. <laughs> try to create more, much more chances. But yeah. The thing, for me, who I'm angry at is the forward players. It's Saka. It's um, it's Jesus. Oh, okay, wait. Why did, okay, why didn't Strauss have stars? Was he not fully fit? No, I think his plan was to play Jesus. And listen, if you induct Jesus, I'm not mad at it at all. Because the, what I saw today is typical Jesus. He he gets the ball. He can beat someone. He, he looks like he's the best footballer. He looks like he's one of the best footballers on the pitch. And then when it's time to put the ball in the back of the net, he he, he forgets how to play football. Like He's he's actually just a five-a-side merchant. If you, he, he should just be playing five-a-side. Go be one of those... Hannah people who do the nutmegs in the middle of central London. That's what Jesus is. <laughs> That's what Jesus is good at. That's because in terms of being an actual footballer, nah, this guy's dead. Because the wingers that we had today, I think Trossard, barring the chance, he was okay when he came on. He at least tried to get the ball, dribbled. I mean, he made he made Doku he made Doku fall on the floor a few times. Like, like apart from Tr Jesus and and uh, Saka, are terrible. Th like. The reason why we didn't win the game is because of those two. Those two just didn't. Yeah, like like Saka wasn't practice. good at all. Saka wasn't good at all. S Saka's not not been good for a while, but again, Arteta for some reason doesn't want to drop him. Like I'm being real, Saka needs to get dropped soon enough. He's not yeah. had a good game in 2024. I can't remember the last time he had a good game against a good team. I'm not counting Burnley and and Sheffield United five nil slappings. Every Ch Chelsea play well against those guys. So anyone can play well against those teams. I mean, they drew to Burnley yesterday, so won't go that far. <laughs> All right, maybe. maybe yeah, yeah. Maybe so, oh, oh, because, so, 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 you, so really, so overall, 
you were happy with the tag tactics because look see because i just looked at it because i just wanted to be sure yeah like city had one shot on target that's crazy at home <laughs> one shot on, on, on target because my thing is, is that our arsenal like peak ac milan are they no our arsenal like Mourinho's inter our arsenal like peak simeone Atleti. no Arsenal not a defensive team so city you only managed one shot on target because arsenal sat deep and that was from a corner that was uh, Ake, yeah. i think with that header. So, 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 so for me, the, the, the blame is fully on City. Because again, they just shows you how people don't know about football and their casual fans. People say, oh, no, no, like, Arsenal just play. No, like, no, no, no. Arsenal are, they, they are their away team. They're trying to win a, a title here. The onus is not on them to come out and attack. The onus is on the team at home who are third to attack. That is, that's how football works. Because yeah. we're not, okay, we're not, we're not trying to entertain you. We're, we're, we're trying to, so the lack the main pet team to blame for why we had a trash game is Man City. That's the main team to blame. It's Man City. They're, they're, they're the reason. Yeah, because we have, a bus- we have business to do. If you want us to go end-to-end, then City will win the game. Because, yeah. because there's a reason why Liverpool go end-to-end with every team. Because they back themselves to score more goals than the other team. But when Liverpool play against better quality teams, they don't go end-to-end all the time unless they feel like the other team's having a really bad game, they'll put their foot on the ball. They'll play a bit more football. Wait, wait, hold on. So, so, okay. Wait. What do you mean by playing football? <laughs> Arsenal are trying to win a title <laughs> and it's by any means necessary. So you, want, so, so you want them just to entertain you and then lose. No. If you Again, want to be Arsenal, go watch Spurs. Go watch Spurs. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. So us like, no, we are trying to win this game. So for us trying to win this game is we're going to sit deep and we're going to counter. And let's be real, in the first half, the best chances fell to Arsenal. In that first half, so for Man City, you have to break them down. As I said again, if City scored the first goal, then you have your football that, that you want. Because Arsenal have to now come out to not try to get back at the game. But as, as long as the game is 0 0, Arsenal, sh- I know, know there's open, like, okay, let's just chill and not try and find something. But what I'll say the money makes is that you had a really good opportunity to kill these guys in that first half because they were trash. But then yeah, again, but that's not due Jesus. to the tactics. That's due to, that's due to the player quality. That's due to the chances they had and them missing it. Not, oh, okay, so, is, so hold on. Okay, let me bring it so, against Man City. Every so, other team what, in the league will play football against. And Belgian H- H- Heskey, talk to me. Yeah, but, hey, boys. Yeah, I mean, I have to give credit to Arteta. I mean... I mean, to be honest, he done his tactics. He got his tactics right. Um, like uh, Money May said, I mean, really, it's just about the players on the pitch. Um, you can see that one player that would have made a difference on that pitch would have been Martinelli. So if he had maybe mm. started, I don't know how fit he was, but I mean, when he came on, they just I just felt like, yeah, this guy. And if Trossard Matt scored, um, squared it to him. Yeah, man, that, that was, that that was key. If he had squared it, yeah. But I mean... Um, Arsenal can feel really confident. I mean, it's not okay. Defensively, Man City kind of depleted. Um, uh, who came off? Akanji came off. Um, yeah, Akanji. Yeah. Okay, Listen, Ake. No, no, sorry, so Ake. It was Ake who came off. Ake, yeah, Ake. sorry, Ake. Yeah. So, but I mean, going forwards, I mean, defensively, Arsenal were just looking so solid. Um, so, oh, oh, okay, so basically, okay, so you agree with Money Miss that you were happy with the tactics, but the players just failed to execute. Yeah, I mean, I knew he's used being on, right? I mean, it's like the roll of a dice. And really, really, um, if you're being honest, there's a higher chance that he's not really going to produce yes. at this moment in time. <laughs> yes. It's just every time I see him with the ball, I'm thinking pass to someone else, someone else. Will. But, I mean, everyone else, I think Saka looks like, I mean, he came off, he seemed like he came off injured. So I don't know Gal might not be in hundred percent, but he was. Yeah, no, no, because we have to be real. Like Saka has not been in great, but I think like, which is what my money made said. I think if Saka and Deuces played better, as the score at least one goal in that first half. Like there were so many good counters that were ruined by Saka and Jesus. Definitely. Really good counters. A hundred percent, but I think in terms of the team, in terms of strength, like we weren't bullied, and I think that's why he's had players that have come in. Um, like Kirio, he's a, like he's a lot taller. Like I think if you had Zinchenko in this team, cool, 
you might have got skins on that left hand side. Um, there's players that are not they're not that great, but I think those kind of like aerial duels where you have to win the ball, um, you have to get the ball higher up the pitch. I see why he plays Havertz. He didn't have a, a great game, um, but I think it's more about the wingers. So the Martinelli's or Jesus, but Jesus, is play, to be honest, Jesus really should be playing in the centre, but um, it's really about the wingers. So I think if Martinelli was playing, um, it might have been a different result. But mm. then again as well, Saka, if Saka's not playing, who do we play on the right-hand side? We don't really have the options that City have. So, um, City brought on Grealish and Doku. I mean, they're a better team, but I, I'm I'm happy to result. I would have loved to, I would have loved to come to the Etihad and win, but I mean, it's not easy to do that, regardless of how City are looking. So, I'm 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 happy with it at the moment, but it can go anywhere. Um, what's it called Betsy? Talk to me, man. Um, so uh, to answer your uh, your poll. You cannot induct the Premier League because, come on, it's it's the only team, one of the only teams in uh, the only leagues in Europe that's got. Oh, no, oh, no, no, but 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 the, but the idea is this is the second best team and the third best team. Again, like that's why it's, yeah. it's 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 unlucky for Liverpool because Liverpool aren't involved. But this is a top of the the table clash against the second best team and the third best team. So if you so if you're looking from the outside and you're like, bro, these are the this is the second and the third best team. In the league, and this is the match that you give. So, so from 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 an outsider, they're like second and yeah, third, on, and this is the game. Hold on, HH, just quickly. But on the flip side, you can say in Duck La Liga because the best team went to the second best team, Real Madrid, in a title decider, and bent over and got slapped four nil in in an important game. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That is one way of viewing it. I mean, like. I want to talk about. More, let's just focus on the game one because we can talk about that because then again, it's like one thing is about right. entertainment and one thing is about okay. Oh, look at how one-sided it was. So I'm talking from an entertainment point of view and a watchability point of view. But put that one step. So, but Betsy, look. So, are you happy with the results and the performance? That because you had a chance. I feel you. You guys had a, had a chance to win, and I think that you see for Martinelli, it's it made sense. See, Trossard could have started Trossard. Martinelli. That he, I think, is like twenty minutes, so it made sense for him to come in that state and just hope that he can, he can do something. But why not start Trossard? Why start Jesus? Uh, and I also, think... he's and he needs money. Mister Right, you need to make a big decision about Saka, bro. Because if you have, if you had put better players in the position of Saka and um, Jesus, Arsenal could have given City a lot of issues in that first because City were horrible. City were there for the ticket in, in that first four forty-five. Um, so, uh, for Saka, I think uh, it's been overplayed. Uh, yeah, uh, it's like, oh, you don't... Like, I think Arteta thinks, oh, uh, the next best player is not going to give me even uh, what uh, half-fit Saka is going to give me. So, he keeps playing Saka. Yeah, it's been overplayed. Uh, for Jesus instead of, uh, of Trossard, I understand that because uh, if you watch uh, Trossard uh, many times when he starts... Is not as good when he comes off the bench. The like players are tired and so on. Mm. That's when he makes an impact. Uh, like against Porto, for example. Yeah, okay, he had the the critical goal, but it was poor throughout. Uh, but yeah, okay, I, I would give I would give anything to for him to do that today. Well, be yeah, poor yeah. and then just come up with the G. Uh, I think the game was boring, like uh, like everyone else has already said. I think. Uh, Haaland against Gabriel and Saliba was more entertaining than the rest of the game. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, but like um, as you as you were saying, I think like uh, for us, it's a good it's a good point. Of course, I wanted more. Mm. It's a good point from the from the standpoint that we are uh, we are above them and we are the away team. Mm. So. They're, they're the ones that are expected to come uh, like with full blows, like haymakers. Uh, yes. And I think they, they were cautious as well. They weren't coming all out because they were cautious because they were they were they were scared. So both teams were playing not to lose. That's why the, the, you know, the think, that's, that's what that's so also it's so like both teams didn't want to make a mistake. That's why when people say, "Oh no, this game is boring," I was like, "Look, I get that from the outside it looks boring, but given context." It's second against third, and nobody wanted to make a mistake. So they're yeah, playing exactly. because no one wants, wants to make a mistake here. But yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. So I think if the game maybe was a bit earlier in the season and the stakes were not so high, maybe the game would have been. Oh, for more sure. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, but uh, I'm I'm happy with the point overall. Uh, yeah, I can't really complain. I think the game plan went to went to plan. Uh, it's just that uh, like so so, okay, so, so is is so is Jesus a bomb? Jesus is trash. Um. Okay. Jesus. Um. I want to give him the benefit of doubt because Betsy, really. No, 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 no. I'll I'll give him next season. Like this season, this season has been disrupted all season. It it this <laughs> preseason. Betsy, Betsy. This guy's had like four seasons. Oh my god. Betsy, come Did on. Did you bro. see him at City? Wait, this guy. Betsy, you're, you're still you're still holding out hope for for Jesus in 2024 and 2025. Look, no. At the end of the day, it's like, um, how can I explain this? Uh, you get your girlfriend. The start is amazing. Everything's amazing. You're going out on dates. The sex is amazing. Everything's nice. And at some point, it just falls off. But you you, you think, oh, maybe we can still rekindle it. Uh, I think uh, Jesus, like, as I was what saying. If, okay, okay, okay. What if this girl starts taking drugs <laughs> and she's a mess? Well, what if the girl you know, isn't is, a girl? Is that the concern? No, 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 I'm not like, 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 like <laughs> if, if she's on meth she's and so forth, then it's like, I don't, Betsy, I don't think you're going to go back to those good old days, bro, because she's on meth. Okay. <laughs> so okay. let, let, let's leave he's, it that uh, I will give him, I will give him next season. I want to see what he's going to come up with because this season, as I said, uh, preseason was cut short because he had to have another surgery on his knee. Uh, it, then he ended up coming back. It was poor. And then uh, he got another kind of injury was it was out for a few weeks so the season has been disrupted all season long so i want to give him one more season and if it, if next season he doesn't go to plan yeah man no, 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 right. so wait, you can't wait another season for it. Wait, wait, hold on. Let, nice okay, okay, okay let me hit the dubs and i'll go to you okay so shout out to jay rodden man can't lie this league will miss Jurgen club look see that's why i said look i mean we're gonna have a much more wider epl talk like tonight on the hangouts but my thing though is well <laughs> It depends who Liverpool hire. Now, they're not going to hire Jabi Alonso, but it depends. Like, guys, let's keep it a stack. This was just, this game was an anomaly. Arsenal have been a very entertaining team. Haven't, didn't Arsenal put like six goals past three different teams? So, we can't judge Arsenal based on just this one particular game when they have been very impressive for most of the league and they've scored six goals like away, like in, in three, three games. So, now City, this season, and I think it was Zeman who coined the, the term. So I've, I've, I've got to give a shout out to, to Zeman. Pep is a glorified terrorist. Right now. Let's let's give it a start. Like, I've been saying the HH. He's, he's, he's a, a glorified <laughs> I, I think it was you, Zeman and BMF. He's a glorified terrorist right now because that city team of David Silva in 17, 18, 18, 19, is not the city team. Like, that city team was like, wow, this team is. And yeah, this team, team right team, now. Team for- it's, it's it's basically fancy terrorism. It's, <laughs> it's fancy saying, terrorism, bro. Because guys, I'm like, look at this guy. Okay, this this is not this is not entertaining at all. This, this is, is not this entertaining is, at is all. Worse. So this I, guy. Have you seen Sarah Banks put the way is crazy in 2024? <laughs> <laughs> this guy. No, 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 seriously, bro. Like, BMF. Did you see was, what? Did you see what? Did you see what Guardiola was, and Akanji were, were doing? I was, I was like, no, I was like, bro, this game was so, he was so dead. It like, was as, no, 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 it was. Let see. I said, if I see Guardiola try to dribble someone across again, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna throw this thing through through my TV screen, bro. Like Shabash on the way 2024. Like, Pep has ruined the game. Like, <laughs> Shogun um, assassin. Pep ruined the game. I love that. Shake my head. One of the most pivotal games of the season, and we get complete terrorist football. Fraudulent league, La Liga, class. Look, I mean, I think money makes to the point that, and, it's, and even for, and I think it's even um, better as well. Pep really wants to win this league. Yes. Pep, he really wants to do four in a row. The way that Pep, he, okay, now Greenish maybe you could have easily started the Doku. Very easily started Doku in the first half. Pep was worried about Arsenal on the counter. So Pep was like, I'm good. Because like, let's be real. Is, like, if, you, if you're Pep, bro, well, the defending champions were at the crib. <laughs> let's, let's, let's start. F- but that City team were a team who were afraid to make a mistake. Yeah, they're, they're, that's, the, that's, the, that's the thing with Pep. That's why he started his first centre-back club. Because 
he's trying you know minimize as many risks as possible in the transition that's why he plays and and, and 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 bma see bma nobody wants to admit this right now pep has ruined football yeah but nobody it, wants I, to accept it yeah, like yeah, okay I, 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 I give all credit and everything but in terms of the entertainment of the game yeah, in terms ruined. of high risks taking risks and just a match that are entertaining pep has ruined the, the game Game for so, I would say 50% on Germany as well. Like, it's hand in hand, Pep and Germany. Yeah, Germany too. Yeah. <laughs> because Germany's where the efficiency of the day comes in. Yeah, it, yeah. so Shokun has it. Eight centre backs were in the <laughs> uh, <laughs> four, DMs, and four DMs. Eight oh, centre backs yeah. and four DMs. Guys, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you, you, should, you, should, you should go to jail for that. <laughs> yeah, See, that's, that's, that's where jail centre the first half. He didn't have a wingle on the AK, the first AK, City had one shot on target. One, one on target. On target. <laughs> I'm going to speak about that. Yeah, so, Ibs, so, uh, we witnessed true terrorism today. <laughs> um, cool accent. Nomad said 3 1 for Arsenal, by the way. Yeah. I knew it was not going to be Arsenal. That was not going to happen, man. Shout out to Cabal. Member. So, so yes, sorry, sorry. Shout out. Member for 16 months. Thank you, Kulak. So, member for 60 months. Member for 22 months. Ips, thank you, bro. Come on. Member for, for nine months. Thank you, man. Real Madrid has a chance to win against City. Yeah. Don't yeah, counter, make that mistake. On, no, 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 I can on see it a bit. Attack, I can see it a bit. On the counter, they can do it. But no, no, but, but, but see, we'll get there, though. People don't realize this. So, I think it's Vinny, Jude, and I think Chouameni, they're on a yellow. Yeah, they can't so so if they get a yellow, they miss the second leg. So yeah, they need to be very it. careful in our first leg. But my thing is that real, don't take the bait. Oh, City, they're gonna be like that. No, don't 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 take the bait, bro. Because probably City raise the level in, in the in the UCL. Don't take the bait, bro. Don't 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 take the bait. Why is K Jackson? Um, and and also 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 you forget, styles make fights. Look at how Arsenal played. Look at the point that Money Mace just said. Money Mace says if Arsenal opened up, City would have dis 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 destroyed them. Real Madrid will never sit back and defend. So Real will always be an attacking team, and that plays to City's hands. So it's a big, big, because you see, what Pep doesn't want, Pep's but kryptonite is you sit back and you counter. And to be fair to them, they're better, they're far better defensively this year than last year and the year before. So. Wait, who? Arsenal or City? Madrid. They're far Madrid. better defensively Madrid this Madrid year than the last two years. Madrid aren't a proper attacking side. They're a bit, they're, str they're a strange team. They can do both. They, they, they can, can do both. Oh, no, 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 but, I, but I still feel like if Madrid is a good matchup for City, it's a good matchup. Now, unless, now, it depends what Bellingham does. So Bellingham may be a different factor in their thing. But look at the last few results. City have have have, have marched up very well against them. Wiseke Jackson, man, um, BPL over EP. <laughs> I think it's right. backless Premier League. Backless Premier League. Yeah. Fergus era was so much more entertaining than this. Yes, it was. BS. Every big game is shocking to watch. Too many make believe big clubs in EPL. Here's I I, I here's this thing. So. When I was watching, I was like, man, what's wrong with this? And I said that individuals. So remember, Keane, Cristiano, um, Cole, York, um, Bergkamp, um, throwing Zola, Benito Carboni, Aspria, David Ginola. You had so many personalities, so many individuals. You would never have a game like this. No, because you have so many individuals, an individual will try something. An individual is going to shoot from for 40 years. Guys, Hardly anybody even tried to attempt his shots because it's just like yeah. pass, 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 pass. Which is guess how many passes was completed in this in this game? Oh yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I actually don't want to know. Nine hundred fifty-seven passes. Yeah. And <laughs> Nine hundred fifty-seven to three shots and targets. <laughs> oh my god! This, this is Pep. This is what Pep did with Cruyff for life. This is what see, Pep is I'm sorry, BMF. That's disgusting. None of this. I was so BMF. That's disgusting. BMF. 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 957 passes, and there were three shots on. Guys, so 957 passes, three shots on targets between both teams. No, it's that's like I speak insane. On this. Wait, hold this, on. Is, this is ludicrous. Yeah. So, 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 no, I'm AK then to Mike. So, Bet, yeah. you can't give the benefits of the doubt to a guy like last.
Why is you out of order for that? Wait, why is you can't say that on Easter Sunday? Why is you can't say that on Easter Sunday? Actually, you know what? Wait, wait, why is you can't say that? Actually, you know what? You can't say that on Easter Sunday, man. You can't. That's just messed up. That that's a yell. You can't like like who doubts himself in his own position. Hashtag I'm not a goal scorer. Um, Mio, um. Eight centre backs and four CDM started in this game from both teams. I I'd rather watch club style of play. It's more entertaining, more individual, not system. Oh no, fair. And that's fair. Look, I mean, like I'm sorry, like eight centre backs and four CDMs is disgusting. It is absolutely it it's it's rank. It is rank and disgusting. It should be legal. AK talks to me, bro. What are you saying? Oh my days. I mean, I'll be real. I don't know why you've uh, put out a review of this game. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> my life has not changed from 4.30 p.m. GMT to, what is it now, 7.25 p.m. GMT. My oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 BST, and... BST, BST, BST. Oh, yeah, BST, yeah, that, that, I'm trying to say in UK time, so you, you'll understand. But, um, yeah, yeah my, my life hasn't changed in the last three hours. I have not learned anything new in the last three hours that I knew before. Oh, okay, okay, so do you blame both? Do you blame both teams, or do you blame City? I blame both teams to an extent, but I blame City far more than Arsenal. Arsenal, here's the thing: like, I, I, I wasn't a fan of what they did, but I got, I got, I, I understood why they did it. Ultimately, like, you never want to go open against City because there's always a chance that they can do something. But uh, so they had to go on the counter. They had to, you know, play with what they had and. A great defensive side, so they they bought they use that to their advantage. So um, I think yeah, Arsenal. I don't think it was a first of all today football weep today. I weeped for the beautiful game today. It was it was a day of sadness today, and mm. I blame I think for Arsenal and City, bro. I don't understand why. I don't think this is a good result for either of Arsenal or City. I'll be real. Because no, no, it's not. Now, but it's now, worse for City. Yeah, it's far, far worse for City than it is for Arsenal, because Liverpool now have it in their hands. If Liverpool win all their games, they win the title quite simply. So I think Liverpool, for me, if for me, I think they would take a massive step towards winning the title if they beat United next. When's it, like next week? Yeah, 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 yeah. If no, no, but, I mean, but, but, but I mean, but just focus on the game because we're going to speak about the tie yeah, later yeah. on the hand about on Not the game the specifically. Game. Oh, so, yes. um, so, you, so you said the great white hope, the great white hope. Actually, there are two white hopes. No, no, but, 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 but okay, here's the thing though. Remember on the um, um, on the Twitter, sorry, yeah, on Twitter halftime space, like Raquel said, oh, you have to give him service. <laughs> okay, it's twenty twenty four. Now, and in 1997 to... or in 2004, fair enough, in 2024, I'm sorry, you have to do more as, as a striker. No, like, did you try this? Did you see him try to control the ball in the midfield? He kept losing the ball. He looks so clunky. Yes, you see, and, and see, and that's this because if you can't even control the ball, to so control, hold it, give it, then I'm sorry. That's my stop. So, so no. because you can't be like, oh no, I'm just here just to finish. No, I'm sorry. This is 2024 modern for football. Exactly. You need to do more than just finish because football has changed and it's now evolved where the striker has to be able to have control exactly. of the ball and play with other guys. We're we'll talking about Lewandowski, Benzema, all these guys. They're in a different stratosphere. What I saw Lukaku do in that friendly, I have never seen Holland do Shout in to... his okay. life. But, okay, okay. Do you but, think Alv Alvarez should feel uh, a Alvarez, no, like, Alvarez for me... Alvarez be, 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 because he, okay, because, okay, here's the issue. When Alvarez plays, he plays with Haaland, and Alvarez can't play with Haaland. Exactly. It's actually against Alvarez's game. So, I'd like to see like Foden, Alvarez, and um, who's the right winger? I'm not a fan of Doku. I'll be. Wrong. I'm not even. A, Foden hasn't been great in the big games this season. Like YSK, he's had multiple bad days at the office. <laughs> I don't know why YSK. Like, ignore him. I don't, YSK, shut up. Please. He should be fired from the office. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, he should be thrown out the window. Yeah, but continue. He should, he should not even be in the office. He should be in high school, the man. But like, I think um, Foden hasn't been good. Doku has been awful. Seventy-seven percent eye test, by the way. Um, you can argue, argue, argue that Man City's best attacker today was Bernardo Silva and Yosko Guardiola. 
Guardiola and Bernardo Silva were the best attackers. No, 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 no. Gu- Guardiola was nonsense. Better than Silva. No, but that's, it. It, that's how bad the attack was. Yeah. That Guardiola, <laughs> KDB also. I'm sorry. I, I, I thought I thought we could compare him to the goats of midfield. Your Iniestas, your Modric's, your Chavis. Bro, this guy's physically done. This guy's physically done. And unless he has that cross, that cross from the right hand side or the left hand side, this guy does nothing in the game. I'm, this guy is, is, no, because my thing though, no, because like remember when I think it was the Liverpool game when he came off and he was angry that he he came off. Bro, De Bruyne. I, I'm seeing his age, bro. Like he's a guy who he was still he can still come up with a moment of magic, like an amazing freak, an amazing pass, an amazing set piece. But physically, you can see that he ain't he ain't at that level anymore. Yeah, exactly. I think. Um, but overall, this game, I thought for me, um, Saka as well, pretty garbage. Um, Trussard, Trussard, when he came on, had a bit of had a bit of sauce, but he missed that chance. I mean, um, but, but should he have started Trossard? Um, possibly, yeah, because like, well, Trossard, I saw Tr- I, Trossard's the only guy I saw complete a dribble and actually look good on the game. Like, mm. that tells you everything. Um, mm. Havertz had a pretty um, average game, but yeah, I think ultimately this game and these two teams, like, it's just a it's just a risk averse game, and mm. that's why I'll always appreciate Jurgen Klopp more. Uh, Jurgen Klopp, because for me, it's like. Jurgen Klopp, what he was able to do, remember that, that Liverpool City game, what he was able to do to that City team whilst being defensively solid, whilst having great, whilst playing great football. Like, this guy was able to sh- uh, get results whilst also playing quality football. And I've, I've always laid on the thing. If Jurgen Klopp got his first choice targets. If Jurgen Klopp got Nabi Fekir, if you, Nabi Keita wasn't an injury prone, like, if Nabi Keita wasn't as injury prone, if Oakley Chamberlain was a, wasn't as injury prone, if he hadn't had to play with Henderson and Milner, if that guy had technical footballers with him, and those players actually like were an injury prone, that guy would have been that guy would have been a different stratosphere. Uh, that guy yeah. would have been a different stratosphere, bro. Because I'm sorry. Arteta, great. You, you've gotten Arsenal to this place. I'm sorry. I don't want to see the next couple of years of EPL football between Pep and Arteta for the title. I'm sorry. Mike, what are you saying, bro? HH, we witnessed a murder today. A, a horrible murder on the game of football. Both teams, I'll give them. I'll give it to them. They were both great defensively, especially Arsenal. Mm. Arsenal have been fantastic defensively all season. I'm, I'm, I mean, but, but can we blame Arsenal? Well, given it, their I'm position gonna, and them being their weight team, since this is going to be such a stats game, and everybody on Twitter or Twitter tacticals are going to tell you, "Oh my God, both teams were great tactically." I don't give a fuck, man. Both teams were just horrendous going forward. Oh, horrendous! Like there's no, there was no entertainment. When you think of a big game, you think of the stakes at hand. And the entertainment within the game. And we didn't get any entertainment. So, HH, how many wins do you think Man City have against the top six this year? Oh, I think it's it's, it's either one or zero. Yeah, they only got two wins and they were both against Man United. Even Chelsea got two draws. <laughs> they only have two wins against the top six this season. That Wait, is Mike, United, United like, in the top You mean big six or top six? The big six. Mike, they haven't beaten a big six team at home apart from United. Every other big six team they've played, I swear they've drawn. Yeah, they've drawn with everybody. Their only loss is against Arsenal. Early so, so, okay, the okay, so, okay, so, so saying that though, if City now win this league, it'll be like. Uh... They've done it pummeling the, the, the dead teams. But 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 did did you, did you know that what I always say? Look, no, so, no, sorry, Mike. But this is the example. I can't remember what season it was. Maybe Money Mason Benz can remember. And Belgian, like there's a season when Arsenal had Adebayo. They beat United twice. Oh six. They beat Arsenal twice. So sorry, Arsenal beat United twice. United won the the league. So my thing is that at the end of the day, people say, "Oh, it's about beating your title rivals." No, it's how well do you do over thirty eight games? <laughs> no, but this is different. Against top four, they're not winning. Yeah, this is more op- more position for the United Arsenal thing. It's just them two. This yes. is four or five teams for that they haven't picked up wins. But put it this way, City can still win this league having 
have such a poor record against the top the top six, they can still yeah, visibly win the. I mean, like it doesn't look like my pick is. But sorry, back back game back to the game. So, Mike, I mean, if you're pe- both guys for Pep and Ateta, how did how did Pep f up? How did Ateta f up? Or what should they have done differently? I actually, I think Arteta got it spot on. He knew what he had to do. Just go defensive and hit them on the counterattack. If he had better attacking players today, they would have got the result. I think he played it perfectly. You can't, especially at the Etihad, you not, cannot go toe-to-toe. You're not. Stupid. You're just going to get ripped dumb. apart. It's, it's stupid. So I think Arsenal came with the right tactics. For City, it's just they get into the final third, and then their key players like KDB, Foden, they just had horrible games. So both attacks that just were nullified and really poor on the ball. Passing was terrible. Uh, that's why is AK still here? In twenty in ten minutes starts the Le Classique between Marseille and PSG. Yeah, that I better know. be an entertaining game. And AK, your team better not lose. How we we, we will. We will. In we thirteen will. years at we home will. against PSG. We will. We're gonna. We're gonna. You know, this is the first up. time Man City haven't scored at home in forty-seven games. Wow. Yeah. So it just shows you like the job that Arsenal have done over this entire season with the the center backs and the goalies. So got to give credit to them. But this league. The thing is, Arsenal cannot go with those tactics that they go away to Tottenham. At Tottenham, they got to take the game to Tottenham. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I think they got to get the three points there. Like, I, think, like, we'll... I yeah. think that's... Look, remember, that game is April 28th. Remember, it's Tottenham, then the Bournemouth, then it's United, and then the last game is Everton. So that game is like the fourth to last... It's, it's, it's part of the, like, the last four games of the season. So at that stage of the season, no, no, no. I think... You see, that's what I'm saying. Arsenal, it's made sense. And let's prove Arsenal had good chances in the first half. It made sense. My focus is on Man City because City, you're the home team. You are third. You're the defending champions. It's down to you to break them down. If you break them down, Arsenal have to open up. But Arsenal doesn't have to open up if it's 0 0. It's, def- it's suppress, defend, counter. So for City, it's like for whatever reason, you just couldn't figure out how to break this Arsenal team down. And one shot on targets is insane. At home, one shot on targets is freaking insane. HH, are we going to be honest here? Are we saying now in the world of football, the second best Brazilian striker plays for Fulham? Is this the stage we've gone to? Yeah. Because Rodrigo <laughs> Muniz nice for Fulham, he's, he's balling out. I mean, Jesus, Richarlison. Yeah, it, like, like, like Jesus is just done. He's done. He's so done. poor. Yeah, Jesus is poor, man. It, I think a lot of the injuries have sort of hampered him and he never found mm. a position, but he's been really poor recently. And that just speaks to Brazil. Like, Hendrik is your best striker at 17. But, but, but also, okay, like, what's... I think, I mean, when do we have a real honest convo about Saka, though? Nah, just... See, this is the problem. A lot of these youngsters are getting so heavily criticized. He's 21. He's going to have bad patches in his career. And yeah. he's going through it right now. He's played a lot of games. I'll, I'll grant that and... But he hasn't played well, and he, I think he knows that. But Arteta's got to stop being so, so stubborn and playing him over and over again. You got to rest him. It's it's so much. Like like it's you could much. easily say that the guy just needs just to rest and re recharge because you could just Ooh. see like if he's playing, and it, I think he just needs to just to completely just recharge, revise himself, and just refresh himself because I can see that like his game is is becoming very predictable. And so I'm just just to rest up. Like, okay, look, let me just come in with a whole new game plan and actually improve my my, my game, but be taken out of the firing line because again, like he plays such a he plays such a crucial position. He is so key to what they they do that it is very important that you get the best out of him, man. And um, but so hey, hey, thing- one, one second, just one yeah, one for- point. Yeah, uh, as poor as Saka was, he created our best chance. So like, if Jesus scores that when he mm. squared it. Like we're talking no. about Saka having a poor season, but his numbers are are are, are still there. Just no, 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 that. no, no. But Betsy, imagine if he actually plays to the level that he's he truly is at, then I'm not fully dangerous. So I think the the key thing though is you have to make a decision a decision because he plays a crucial position for what Arsenal no, yeah, play, especially no. with the other other guy. So either you get the best out of Saka or someone come in and play that position better because that position is crucial. Mm-hmm. And right now, Betsy, every game now matters. Now every game now oh, matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, BMF, what were you saying, bro? BMF. Yeah, what I want to say about this game is it just shows, you know, what <laughs> what the prep. I think this is what the prem has done to Pep. You know, this you know risk of like it's just so, it's it's just a cowardly way of playing. Four center backs to the end. I'm like, it's boring. <laughs> Three shots on target for the old nine minute game. Yeah, it's like this. Obviously, this is a great result for Arsenal. I think. You know, wait, 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 great results. 
No, I, I, no, I'll say uh, this was an okay result for us in terms of mm. away from home. Like, there's not a run playing this way. Like Mourinho did it, but the way, the one thing Mourinho did this with Chelsea. But one thing Mourinho made sure he did was that they were actually at least deadly and lively on the counter attack. Yeah. <laughs> like you could enjoy <laughs> Chelsea playing this way. And they, I know they, they, they were dragging Mourinho for this, this type of football. Now you see it with Pep, but we ain't, ain't going to speak about it. But yeah, I think this this is okay result for you know for Arsenal. But we we'll see though. I think what. It's become so weird because what they just open for is okay. Let's have our first set of backs. We open for KDB and Allen cover with something. <laughs> they don't cover with something. Then we literally screw because we don't have a our left wing is non existent. Our right wing is non existent. So our, we only have this. They only basically only have two attacks on the pitch. I mean, no, BMF, it's ranted to watch, man. Like it's, I, I, it's, it's hard to watch. They this, basically this crap, have bro. two attacks on the pitch for all nine minutes game because you're, you know, they, they never have no goal scoring left wing or ask you know goal scoring right wing. It's just basically harder than KDB and those guys didn't, I don't think, you know, didn't do much in this game. KDB also didn't really do much. It was so Rodri, you know, did okay, did his thing, yeah, but it was just so boring. It was, it was a proper snooze fest. He was a slew face. And I saw one of his quote. <laughs> they, they basically asked him in the, in the press conference, you know, after the game, like, how do you break um, low blocks like this? And he said, you have to kill somebody, maybe. <laughs> oh, what? Wait, 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 wait. Who said that? Pep. Pep said you have to kill someone to break low. I'm like, bro, you play four Cerebex. <laughs> Two DMs. You didn't, <laughs> are you supposed to break low blocks down with, you have you have your left back, your Cerebex, only the way. I'm seeing Vanyo. Be a left winger. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> no, no. I mean, no, bro. Because every time Guardiola had the ball, I was like, "This, this, this is a sin." This is. This is I'm, 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 I'm literally watching. I'm literally watching sinful football I don't, on I, the day of a Lord Sunday, bro. <laughs> yeah, I did think Cruyff. You know, I don't think this was Cruyff's uh, <laughs> idea of what Pep is going to do to football. No, 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 no. <laughs> no um, because it's like I. And you were right. That same team with that same team with David Silva, Guerrero, you know, it was um, a good team. It, it, it was a great team. They played fantastic football. And I've always said this, right? They still play fantastic football. But you know, look at what look at in Pep being pragmatic and started playing four seven backs, led to the treble. You know, that's the thing that that's that's why I said we attended last season. It's like Arsenal last season they play exciting football, but compared to this season, they've been you know they've been the pragmatic way too because. You got this is what you gotta do for the trophies now. You gotta sell your soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta sell your soul for this. you gotta be a football <laughs> terrorist. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. Let me let me let me quickly hit this. So um oh my gosh. Wisekid, before we go to Wisekid, thanks for the dub. Give me a DeLorean and a sniper so I can visit the exact moments Cruyff <laughs> met Lep. Hey, yeah. I'm yeah. saving off plutonium for a trip to O3 <laughs> Stanford and <laughs> 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 Wisekid. <laughs> Wiseke, like... don't Wiseke, because you know I am building my time machine, bro. So Wiseke, if I go back, because I'm I am gonna go back and make sure that Chelsea is never is never. I'm gonna go back and stop the U Ukraine war. I'm gonna go back and, and change a few things. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna go back and I'm going to put a gun to Terry and say, don't you dare miss that damn penalty in always. Mm -hmm. But don't let on my time travels. Also, my, I'm also gonna travel past to see whether we landed on the moon and also who built the, the pyramids as well. In my time travels, I better not see you anywhere near Stamford Bridge in 03. Question. Are you stopping the Ukraine war to save are you stop are you stopping the Ukraine war to save lives or get Bram back to Chelsea? <laughs> uh, shout out to your boy Peso. Shout, 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 shout out to your boy Peso. For issues on the panel, Henri or Neymar? Henri? Henri? Whoa, what whoa. <laughs> Okay, who's okay? Well, there's a fire. There's well, a fire. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not time traveling right now. I don't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Okay, who? Are, wait, who has a fire? Whose fire alarm was that? Yeah, yeah who, you better check on that person. Fire, I think it was due to us. Nah, it's not me, man. It's not me either. It wasn't me. I was muted. Maybe it's a. Uh... Oh. Was it Nomad? <laughs> okay, well, okay. Well, maybe it was a no okay, nomad, okay, okay, okay. Well, as long as there's no fire. Wait, 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 wait. Nomad, was that we you? Are you fine? We don't have fire alarms over here. We just piss on it. Okay. <laughs> 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 um, all right, so, 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 we did, so we said, wait, who said, so did someone say Henri over Neymar? You know, say Henri or Neymar, who are you going to pick? Yeah. yeah, Neymar. Neymar, obviously. 
Yeah. It depends what we're talking about. No, there's no yeah, depends. I mean, it, it does not depend. There's no depends. There's really no depends. Because see, whenever you, whenever people say like this, I always think at their best. I was so okay, let me say they're the best. Oh, Henri okay. is the best, Neymar is the best, come on. Like, yeah, if there's, there's no comparison. Yeah, but if you want a pundit, you want Henri. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, yeah. If you want, if, if you want a pundit or you want someone you to, want? to oh, steal Neymar your Paddy. girlfriend or your wife, or you want like an, an adulterer, <laughs> you pick, pick Henri. Um, I know, I mean, I know that Kitab do it is, yeah, we all don't know those guys are like, you know. So, um, <laughs> what, what was it called? Uh, you know, it's facts. Why is it? I mean, Talk to me about this game, bro. Is it, was, it, was, it, was it really that bad? Really? Was it really that bad? It is. Uh, <laughs> on a on a day like this, where our Lord Christ and Savior was resurrected, I did not need to see that on my TV screen. Oh dear! Because um, that was that was disgusting to watch. It was it was it was revolting. <laughs> H because there's 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 Gid H H and then there's that I don't know what that <laughs> so even the Tal- even the Taliban were close on that because that that right there that right there is enough to scare the Taliban away because that that is I'm sorry H I can't have I can't have a guy pass the ball around nearly seven hundred times and have one shot on target ball <laughs> nearly seven hundred passes <laughs> and one shot on target. In ninety-five minutes, that's wait, that's wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, I don't have my whistle here with me, but everything, man. Um, a dash. That's 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 a yellow. <laughs> a dash, that's a yellow. That's a yellow. Continue, 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 continue. Oh, <laughs> no, I should have done that special. No, the first, of course, that's the first that I would do. No, 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 Like, obviously, like, nice. that goes without me. I don't think this is sense. Obviously, the first that I'll do is stop racism. No, no, no. No, like, no, okay, no, hold up. No, no. So. If I had a time machine, no, I'd make sure that I have a list of stuff. <laughs> and I'd go back and I would and I would nuke Christopher Columbus. I'd nuke him. Wow. And so wow. forth. So I'd I'd nuke Christopher Columbus and I'll and I'll nuke the, the British colonies. I'll what? nuke all those dudes. So everything. So yeah, obviously, that's the first I do. I would nuke Britain, <laughs> I would nuke Christopher Columbus, and I'll nuke them. And I'll make sure that everything is all good. So yeah. Uh, Continue, YSK. There's, there's a word to describe all this, but it's, it's a Monday. But YSK, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's a Monday. You better stop the pack murder as well, please. <laughs> Betsy, Betsy. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's crazy? This guy said he'll come back to see if I'm at the bridge in 03 before he saves the black. Man. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm wait, 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 I'm time hopping, bro. I'm, I'm time hopping. So uh, basically, but you, basically, exactly. basically, if I see a, a if I see a Mexican Sri Lankan trying to mess with Ken Bates and stuff in the Oakland, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do some continue. <laughs> <laughs> bro, ag- ag- agendas of his own race. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. That that was um. That's not that's not good to watch. That's that's not a good advert for um, no. No. For a title race, for but it. but how much can you blame Arsenal though, given their position? No, I don't. I don't. I actually, I don't put anything on Arsenal at all, um, because one, they're away from home. They they have the points over City in the league, so it's not like they need to go out their way to do anything against City. Liverpool is really who they're chasing. Um, but again, Arsenal didn't. It's not. It's not. Arsenal had to do anything different in this game, or the same that they they missed some very very big chances, not clear cut chances, but but opportunities. Like there was there's an opportunity where uh, I think I don't know who it was. Maybe it was Trossard. He was on the counter, and he had the opportunity to play to Martin, Martinelli, and he and he went went on his own. Hmm. I felt like if he, if he yeah. played it early to Martinelli, I think actually you know what, <laughs> it's Martinelli. So I don't know what would happen, but you know maybe maybe maybe, maybe there would have been a goal, but um. Look, Earl, it is what it is. I'm not gonna go against my guy. He's made me too much money, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go against the uh, the Why cash. Why not? Of this no, because oh my. look, it happens. It, well, look. so so you're not gonna criticize him on a football panel because he's making you money. Yeah. You see, this is all that's wrong in the world, bro. This is all that's wrong. No, in the it's world, not. Bro. It's not wrong. There's nothing wrong at all. I mean, you subscribe to early fans, so I, I, don't, I don't know what. You yeah, know, because you're Rachel has a fat ass. Continue. Uh, that's getting clipped. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no one clipped that. No one clipped no. that. No, clip that. No, you're gonna clip that. Uh, can, wait, Kalisto, can you put that on the cinema screen that this guy's looking at? Uh, <laughs> Girl, it's why is so already? That's crazy. Um, I, I, you are African, aren't you? 
Who, Who? HH? No, no, uh, YSK Jackson. No, no he's, Sri, he's Sri Lankan Mexican. Thank, thank you. Because you're moving like an African that, politician that? because corruption, just because this current goal is uh, oh. making you money, you're you not criticizing that guy. Come on. Like, look, Bessie, look. Um, hmm. Bessie, look, I have no connections to that brick footballing continent. Um, so, <laughs> it, it's, hey, thing it's the thing, It's the thing, Hey, look, Aussie man, <laughs> don't need to go any further. <laughs> okay, why is it? Can you just stay, stay on topic? Stay on topic, please. Stay on topic. At least you could have said country, man. Why do you have to say continent? Oh, yeah. I thought Africa was a country. HH, I'm no, a bad. You could have said relax. Nigeria, man. You could have said I'm Nigeria. Relax. Uh, okay, 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 so you put this. Man, okay, can we all agree that he's a glorified terrorist, Pep? He gets it done, but he's a glorified HH, terrorist. terrorist. Yeah, he's a terrorist. You know, he is. Uh, Z Man, Z, bro, Z Man put it perfectly. Like, this guy is literally. He's like he's like a bad drink, but with a lemon on the side, so it makes it look bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally what, that, that's literally what Lep is doing right now. Um, <laughs> um, Trexter Prime, DM me, please. Thank you. Continue. Wiseke, continue. Oh, Wiseke, right? I said continue. Wiseke, I said. Wiseke, I said. Wiseke. So Man City against Arsenal. So tactically, tactically, talk about tactics. Wiseke, talk about talk about the tactics. Wiseke, talk about the tactics. There was no tactics. Wiseke, tactically. Okay, go. There was no tactics because at one point I swear I saw nine centre backs on this on the on the on the. Yeah, yeah. What's it? Nine centre backs and four DMs. It's crazy. That that's disgraceful. Um, and for to be honest, I think. I don't, I don't know if the, I don't know what it is because Pep Pep didn't used to Pep's football was very annoying like he was I don't I, I don't know I didn't find it interesting mm. as like because it's not it's not just like, it's oh, not, so, so, it's not, no that's yeah I've never been in front of Pep's football ever. even during the header of Barca because it's brilliant even at Barca it was about Messi it was about Iniesta. Because the football itself was still about, I don't know in front of them, but Messi was, did so much, such amazing stuff. It offsets the whole pass, 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 because Iniesta will do something crazy. Mm -hmm. But now that you have a team that doesn't have an Iniesta, doesn't have a Messi, doesn't have like a David Villa, then it's like, oh no, this is, basically this is Pep in his final form. This, this is yeah. Pep without those actual individuals that is the reason why we watch for ball. So this is Pep in his final form. Yeah, yeah and, and, and it, that, that, that Barca team, that Barca team, there were so many individuals and individual qualities st stood out more than actual Pep's way of playing. It can look nice. Like, you know, even AJ, you even play like uh, pro clubs that like people say are passable and whatever. Like it is, it's a nice feeling, but mm. um, the individuals from that Barca team is what stood out. Messi, yes. Iniesta, Xavi, even with a, mm. even with a pass. Oh, I, mean, pres I mean, prison FC. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Can't see, oh, realized, yeah, yeah, can't see his name, can't see his name. But no, 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 like, yeah, like, Prison FC was literally one of the best guys in his position, and that guy Bessie did Roberto. stuff. So, no, no, it's, it's not Prison FC, it's, it's Bessie, on bail. Bessie don't. Bessie don't. <laughs> it's, it's, it's on respect, bail, FC, on bail. Respect FC. the best shout, shout out to Drake, man. Shout, shout out to Drake for bailing him out. Um, but the, the, that team was full of individuals. I'd even argue his Bayern side was full of individuals, even, Robin, even with yeah. Robin Ribery. Yeah, they were, it was full of individuals. So, this city team is very much, it's it's just system, 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 system. Stick to the system, no matter what. You'll see these dudes have no shots on goal, but what? But what you're guaranteed is at least over 500 passes in one game. That's what you're guaranteed. It's, it's, it's madness. Like, so, when when it's it's very difficult to watch. I again, I, I put money down on Haaland to score goals and shit. But honestly, I. I've never, unless it is one of these games where it's quote unquote a big game. I don't watch Man City play football because it's just difficult to watch sometimes. Man, no, no, I, I can't. Like, it's, 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 it's not fun to watch. It's not I, fun I, to watch unless they are ripping a team apart, where where goals are flying in against I don't know whoever. But unless that's happening, when these dudes are attempting to break down a team, again, it comes back to the lack of in, individuals. Pep. Since coming to the city team, low blocks is just not his. Uh, he's struggled against low blocks because there's mm. no individuals to spark something to get through that. Uh, whatever, whatever, how many, how many buses, how many houses they got par parked behind Pep. There's no individuals to get. Foden again. Th these guys like they they they're good footballers. They're good footballers. They're, they're not the individuals that Pep. But had yeah, at, but at it's true. It's not a Fortnite. What you're not help, he's not helping himself. For, see, Foden might be assistant guy because see, Foden is talented, but I say he's not Iniesta, bro. 
he ain't messy, bro. And he ain't David David. David. So it's like this. You see, this bro, is Foden, Foden's not even a Pedro. You see, I just want to say his name, but I was like, can we have a can we have a discussion? Pedro at Barca was was better than Foden. Like yeah, Pedro sure. at Barca was was money. Sure, yeah, she also used to for Spain as well, so yeah. So, 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 just that I was like, okay, I might disrespect him for the Barcelona, you know, but no, Pedro for Barca was damn good. So, my thing though is that I told you, this is Pep in his final form because this team is fully Pep. Because these guys, they literally are slaves to Pep. Like, yo, Pep, what do we, what, what do, we do? Messi was like, yo, F it, I'm gonna do like that goal that Messi scored, scored against Real. No one is scoring that goal in this city team, yeah. Like yeah. no one is scoring no, no, no. scoring that goal. Like there, there are things that Iniesta and Messi would do that nobody can do in this team. So this team is heavily reliant on your Pep. What do we do? Because yeah. there's no individual that can step out and be like, I'm just gonna do something insane. You know what's funny is that even that trailer that they just they just released for Netflix, the documentary about that trouble, right? It was against Inter Milan, right? Where they were literally struggling their first half. Mm. And what they did, like they showed a clip of like they went in the dressing room and everyone just sat down like don't worry, don't worry, like, Pep's gonna fix it, Pep's gonna fix it. It was like, I was thinking, these guys are literally just robots. Like, they literally, they... they, they no, no, they, no, no, they, they actually cut the part out when they said, don't worry, Lukaku will help us win this treble. So, I just, I just <laughs> they cut that part out. <laughs> yeah, they probably cut that part out. No, 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 but it's super major. I think that's why, like, this, this City thing is where I give Pep the most credits. Because this is where, this is literally a team. Like I told you, KDB is cool, but let's be real. KDB isn't what Ribri was or what Robin was as an individual. Like KDB is can still do some things, but I wouldn't call KDB like this is an extraordinary talent. It's like an amazing individual talent. All these guys yeah. are still heavily reliant on your Pep. What do we do? Pep. What do we do? Pep. What do, what do we 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 do? And again, it goes back to the whole football thing. Is like. <laughs> Like that that I saw right there, I said again, I'm sorry, Arsenal, I put no blame onto Arsenal because it's freaking Arsenal. They don't win the league in the 20 years. They're playing away from home and this is against the defending champions. But for City, what? you're saying you can't break down Arsenal because they have men behind them. So, guys, so, oh, what is City to, to, to do? You're the defending champion. You, you are sponsored by freaking Ulrich. So, 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 hold on. You're saying that you only had one shot on targets because Arsenal had men behind the ball. How do you break how do you break a team down if you play four center backs, two DMs, <laughs> and you know I'm playing wingers like you know you're and a false striker. And the false striker. Yeah, for a false striker. <laughs> like so 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 so, 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 so remember who who are the guys that were injured? So it was Walker, Stone. Stones, and then Ak in the game. None of those guys are offensive players. Yeah. So you so you still uh, had a lot of offended. offensive and also Alvarez did not have a single touch. Think about that. Alvarez is a guy who can actually control the ball, can actually dribble, that actually has a can actually pass the eye test. How does Alvarez not touch the ball once in a game like that? Where we need we need to we need to we need to be in, inventive in the in the final third. Like I think at some point in the first half, City had like one or two touches in Arsenal opposition box. In the first half, I was like, "Yeah, you you touched the ball twice in the opposition box." But the thing that is, <laughs> imagine if you're Alvarez and you're looking at Haaland, you're like, "Bro, like I'm being benched for that." But uh, I hate it. I think this is like, yeah, sorry. This is this is part of a bigger conversation. I think this is as much as we spoke the other day about oh the quality of the players is better today like in terms of like they're more fit and everything football is declining in in in, in, in 20 years time we might find ourselves watching no, tennis no, but, or but, 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 but see i'm actually got, i'm actually working on a vid about that and, and i think we'll probably talk more about this later tonight, but bellingham pedri yamal julian vets Musiala, these guys are all 21 and under. Some of the best players, bowlers, are 21 and under. Now, I don't know what happened to the guys 25 and up. So the guys, remember, 30 and up, that's the Messi, Neymar, Pogba era. But that's 25 and 30. I don't know what happened to those guys. But, but the guys 21 and under are arguably the best footballers on their, on their team. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Because I think the thing is... 
those guys when they were coming up, they kicked it like that's when the system matches. Yeah, so but, but, but the issue is that so those guys twenty one and under are they now going to be poisoned by how football is changing by okay oh, be systematic? Hopefully, no, hopefully not. Come on, hopefully not, because Ho- if Holden the was on the pitch. <laughs> Betty, did I mention Foden? Betty, did I mention Foden in in those names? I didn't want to no, mention Foden. But, but when he was coming up, when he was twenty years old, people were saying the same things that they're saying about the, all these guys that you mentioned. Betty, so in twenty twenty, just... but see, that's but again, again, aha, Betty, there we go. Now, if you put say Vets or Musiele or Yamal to Pep, maybe <laughs> he will terrorize them and and poison them. Bro. So thank goodness that Vets has Jabi Alonso, Musiala has okay, well, Tokeli Band, but, <laughs> but these guys <laughs> don't have those dudes, man. So actually, wait, hold on, let me come to J Swiss. So, Start on the game. J Swiss. Um I wasted about what is it, two hours, I'd say, yeah, of the day. I think I think the half time break was the most enjoyable bit of the game, to be fair. Like okay. it's just I don't know, I don't even know what I watched. Like, can you just pull up my A V because we need to discuss <laughs> Did you make him that? choppy? That's disgusting. That's why is you put your money on bro? Nah, that's disgusting. Why is you 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 put your money on on a on a fat b a s t a r d? Shout out to my fat people, bro. At least I'm not rapping with refugees. Why just was just was? Yeah, to all the English fans out there, they call folding world class and soccer world class. So we need to just. For a few stats, so between the both. J two S, they called them the Great White Hope. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. that's a but um, the the stats with both of them combined: so zero goals, zero assists, zero shots, zero chances created, zero successful dribbles, zero accurate crosses, zero passes into the final third. God damn! Wait, 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 wait a second. That, that's not true. No, we're not, you know, because the, the, the whole sack thing is a bit, because it, 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 the deflection and all that kind of stuff, so. Yeah, deflection sucks, deflection sucks. Wait, wait, wait when, when he crossed that ball, there was a deflection? It, when the cross, when he made the pass to... To Jesus. Jesus. That's to Jesus. not an accurate cross, because Jesus didn't make contact. Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay, he had... <laughs> Saka had but he still did pass into the he final third. He had turn. one accurate pass. He had one accurate pass. <laughs> All right, so between the both Betsy, the Betsy, you're fighting over one. <laughs> so, 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 Betsy, 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 so, Betsy, Betsy, into the off zero 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 one. Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, sometimes the stats are uh, actual gazing. That's why I was just uh, trying to. What do you mean the stats for gazing? Had so he had one good pass the whole game then. Betsy, you have to fight for more. Betsy, you have to fight for more. The guy played 78 minutes and you're saying one accurate pass. No, I, I told you I told you already, guys. I don't I don't fight like I, I say I, I say already. <laughs> <laughs> Betsy go no. Betsy can't believe a water pass, bro. Yeah, but Betsy, you you're no. too passionate for that man. I can't lie, like one pass is crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was, I was just thinking. I was just thinking. Maybe I saw the wrong thing, bro. You, 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 you try to disgust it, bro. Like, it's like... <laughs> what? <laughs> you can't guys, look at this guy. This guy's way. This is way of good football right now. Where Betsy is fighting. Say, oh look, he made a deflected <laughs> pass, bro. <laughs> no, 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 guys, guys, guys. No, don't even put me in that category, man. I already told you. Man. <laughs> Oh, no, no, Jesus got it. Jesus got it. Jesus got it. Yeah, because I think, I think my favorite moment in the game was when Jesus took about, I think, how many fake shots did he try in that one scenario? Like, was it three? About three. Yeah. yeah. And then he didn't even right. get the shot. Off. Right, he's not a goal scorer, man. So he's, 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 he repeats <laughs> wait, 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 was it the one where it was with his left and then it sort of missed with his left? No, it was when he kept taking fake shots and then he, he didn't was shoot. Shooting. Right, it was, it was refusing to pull the trigger. He's not a goal scorer. He's been telling us. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, hold up. Yes, no, yes, if they if they interviewed Jesus afterwards and they said, Wait, why did you shoot? I told him that they striker. Not, then sorry. then you have to put him in prison. You have to put him in prison. No, 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 you have to put him in prison. You have to put him in prison. Like twenty five to life. 20, 24 hour lock lockdown. This was good to you. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, this, the, the sick thing is Gabriel Jesus was brought as a striker. But in today's game, Havertz is starting a striker. And you got Jesus on the wing. It's just. But but, but see, just that's. I was like, you want to okay, you want to try and win against City, and your front three is of a Saka, 
not recruit on the phone, Havertz and Jesus. I was like, uh, it doesn't fill me with much confidence if that's your front three to try and beat City at the Etihad. Yeah, because uh, Saka hasn't been great since the turn of the year. He's been in some games, but this is against like the Sheffields, the Burnleys, the Crystal Palaces, those kind of sides where you expect him to perform in the big games. He hasn't performed in a big game this part of the season so far. No, he so hasn't performed all not, season. Uh, He's been yeah. crap all season. Yeah, yeah. We're not counting. When people say, oh, Foden turns up against a big team, the only big team he's turned up against, well, so-called big team, is Man United, and that's it. And Man United are even that good this year. So where are we rating that? Like, he's doing all mm-hmm. his gun celebrations. Like, I didn't see any guns today. So, but on... Like, <laughs> Wait, he didn't even bring the ammo. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's people, like like water pistols? P P P. Water pistols. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like that, man. Empty no, it's like a, it's not the water one. He didn't even get. bring the water. <laughs> it's the, it's the ones that make noise. You know the ones for the kids. That no, wait, 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 wait. You know, like in the Batman sixty TV show, like bang. Oh wow, you know what? It goes with the bang. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, okay, wow. So, James, what's it's worse. Yo, that's a good AV, man. That's a good AV. I can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> go for it, go for it, go for it. Yeah, but um, like Pep, he is glorified terrorist because, like, so we're seeing a back four of Akanji, Diaz, Ake, Guardiol, and then Ake came off. And then he, the only reason Lewis, who's an actual, like, sort of fullback, came out is because Ake's injured, who's the centre back. Yeah. So, and then you got Rodri. Like, I'm sorry, like Kovacic hasn't done anything at City. Like, that's been a poor oh, sign. That has not been good, bro. That has failed. Yeah, Chelsea got the better end of the deal because they got Cole Palmer. As if you're about, like, out of all the guys that we set free, have it, maybe? I mean, like, nobody has actually sort of like, man, look at how much how, how much better he's, he's done since he's left. Mounts, oh, he just scored a goal right now. Have it, and like, Kovacic is like, He's, He's so not bad. looked good at all. And the other player forgetting about is uh, Mateus Nunes as well. Like Pep Guardiola said, this is the best midfielder in the world when he signed him. So, and he doesn't even get game time in this game. Like he's only made three subs today, and the, one was because of an injury, and the other two were Jack Green. Wait, wait, wait. Jace was Pep is the same guy who said like we can't replace him. <laughs> and while while he was crying, especially Pep is a the, the guy the guy the guy is he's, he's, he's not well up there in the head. So no, but Pep is a sick guy because you got. Julian Alvarez is holding bench. He didn't even get a minute in the game. Like, you need to That's win the crazy. game. Like, I know he hasn't been... People say Alvarez has been playing well, but he's because he hasn't even been playing in his favourite position. And, oh, yeah, thank you. Because somebody mentioned that. Why hasn't he been playing well? Because he's played with Haaland. So when he plays with Haaland, he has to now be moved out wide. Look at him for... Whether it's for Revolves or look at him for Argentina. He is an attacker. So the position that he plays for Argentina is a position that Haaland plays where he's at the top of the key and is a full-on at- attacker. So we've not seen best for Alvarez because he you are trying to cater for Haaland and Alvarez and Haaland do not work together. You have to choose one or the other. But the issue is that how do you bench a guy who just destroyed the goal re- re- record? But at the same time, you are killing Alvarez's game by trying to play both of them together, which where it doesn't work. Yeah, so he doesn't even even when he plays him on the wing, he doesn't even play him on his favorite side. He plays him on the left wing. That's yeah. not his favorite position. And what strikers do what in midfield positions? Like we've seen Alvarez in midfield how many times this season? Just because they have Haaland, he has to start the games because just sure goal scoring volume that he has. But when he's not playing well, what does he provide to the game? Like yeah. that chance, I think it was the 88th minute. He missed the ball completely. <laughs> I don't know. What, it went through his legs. Yeah. I don't know what he was seeing during the game. Like we have to have a discussion on Haaland. Like I'm glad Messi won the Ballon d'Or because if. Harlan would have a Ballon d'Or right now if it wasn't for Messi. Yeah, yeah. Ballon like, Ballon you don't, like, yeah. Harlan, fine. Messi wins many Ballon d'Ors. It gets on him, but I'm sorry. I'm giving Messi Ballon d'Or for Harlan. I'm sorry. Please. I'm because sorry. I'm sorry. Like, Harlan, he, he can't win a Ballon d'Or. He can't. Yeah, because when they show the highlight reel for the Ballon d'Or, like, the only one I can think of worse than Harlan's is Jorginho's in 2020. <laughs> was it 2021? <laughs> That's the one that's, that's the one that's worse. This is unrelated. How does Rodrigo turn into R9 at Real Madrid, but like it's so shit for Brazil? I don't. Rodrigo can score an overhead kick from 40 he yards. in his natural position he, right now. Don't, the fact that he's wearing this jersey for Brazil is a sin. 
it's a sin mm. that that guy is wearing the number 10 jersey for. Uh, Brazil number 10 is a sin. So I don't care how many goals he scores. It's a sin. H-H and is also, a Rodrigo, and also okay, Rodrigo, save that for Pep. Don't forget it now. Save it for, for your boys, Pep, because Girona ain't doing nothing, bro. Um, so hold on, let me quick. So Alex, thoughts of the game real quick. Alex. Um, have you ever heard of the phrase weapons of mass destruction? Yeah. Excuse me? Alex, yes. Maybe, George yes. Bush. Yeah, yeah, Iraq. So this Iraq game, Saddam Hussein. Yeah, this game should have that. Um like this game suited that, which is like with all so, the- so 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 this game was a weapon of mass destruction. Yeah. Continue. Keep, keep, wow, keep the uh, first one that actually existed. <laughs> YSK. Give us more. Give us more. YSK. Come on, bro. Wait, Alex, continue. Alex, continue. Alex, continue. So, so thoughts of the game, Alex. Um. So well, Arsenal should have did well. I mean, stay compact defensively well, which they needed to do. But like counter attacking, they um they should have done better. Um, because but their attackers such as like Saka isn't on good form against like bigger better teams um and then uh jesus is like like uh, like jesus like it's not that good no but with again city like it's um city it's it's on pep guardiola like i think he was overthinking especially with putting like the guardiola um and uh akanji like with the full i mean Kyle Walker's up, but like Gavardio, like seeing him on the ball, and he was like the best attacker, even though he was like really bad. Um, mm-hmm. He at least like did more than like the likes of Kevin De Bruyne and Phil Foden, and really Bernardo Silva was really their best player as well. But like, yeah. So it's so it's Pepe glorified terrorist. Uh, it seems so. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> that was, I, just, I, just, I just wanted to be awkward. Um, no, wait, 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 about the game. No, wait, wait, about the game. This guy's a prick, man. Yeah, yeah the best league, best league in the world, my ass. Oh, no, best man. manager in the world, my ass. No, best team in Europe, my no, ass. Okay, just... no, all of you guys, all of you guys can bow down and you know, uh, thank me for saving football for eliminating Man City from the no man. Already, I just want to just I'm not. I'm not even going hey, to watch down, the calm match. Down, calm down, calm down. I'm just going to come on the street. Just review the game. No man, please calm down. Please calm down. No man, just review the game. So okay, no man. Did you watch the game? Please calm down. Yeah, I watched the game. I watched the game. Watched okay, the general thoughts. General thoughts. Yeah, I mean the risk aversion from Pep Guardiola was unexpected because he had the midfield, he had the attack. You know, and I thought that uh, I predicted 3-1 for Arsenal because I thought that he would actually go out, you know, at least try to score a goal and maybe then open up in the second half because he doesn't have his uh, starting defense. So, but that didn't happen. And it's just, uh, Pep Guardiola is always a coward. Tiki Taka is the purest expression of cowardice because you don't have the athletic, you know, prowess. You don't have pace. You don't have physicality. You don't have versatility. You can't play in different positions. So you have to keep passing the ball and then uh, depend on uh, players like Messi and Iniesta who are generational talents, once in a lifetime talents, to bail you out. And also uh, people, you know, try to forget uh, history and try to be revisionist. Each and every single one of his teams were built on tactical fouls. Pass, 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 pass. And as soon as the uh, opposition gets the ball, they, uh, you know, crowd them out like rabbit dogs and make tactical fouls. That's it. That was Barcelona. That's That has been Man City. You know, Mancini's uh, Man City that won the league played better football than this. They did. You know, so that has always been the case. There's a reason why he was kicked out. He didn't leave. He was unceremoniously and humiliatingly kicked out of Bayern Munich by the players. The players went to the president and told them that we are treble winners and uh, we are, he's uh, trying to turn us into cowards and robots. They want to treble before him, they want to treble after him. Yeah. You know, so he was the problem and he was kicked out by the players. The players ganged up on him. That's what happened at Bayern Munich. I think people forget. And that's why... Uh, 
Haaland is not uh, ready to, you know, uh, commit to Man City uh, for his uh, future. Because I, I don't think he wants to do this for the rest of his life. The There's rumors he wants, he wants to go to, to Barca. Yeah, he, he can go wherever he wants, where he, you know, uh, he can express himself. Or he, he, he knows he can get consistent service. Mm. And he can score a lot of goals uh, because this kind of football is uh, he, when you don't even involve him in the play, when all he gets is like a couple of touches. Well, uh, well, he doesn't he pass the eye test. A it's, 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 it is hard to involve a guy who has 15% of the eye test. So let me bring it quickly, really quickly. So Black Sill, then Edison. So Black Sill, thoughts on the game? Okay, here's what I think about the game while I'm watching Real Madrid. Oh, man. Look, Pep is not the successor to. Johan Cruyff, because Johan Cruyff would have looked at that and would have been disgusted and have thrown up. Johan Cruyff was the type of manager who he himself exclaimed, I would rather win 4-3 than 1-0. Like, does sure. anybody remember that? Yeah, yeah, I would yeah, rather yeah. win 4-3 than 1-0. In other a a words, a a was there at that press conference. He was there at that press Blacks conference. Blacks will keep talking. Blacks he was. Blacks yeah. yeah, I mean... You know, Pep, he tried to do a Diego Simeone, but I don't think even Simeone has ever done that. I don't remember Simeone ever having five central defenders, ever. So I, I, I was very confused. Now, in terms of Haaland, Roy Keane literally came out and said, this man has the overall football ability of a League Two player. He literally said that. And I think everybody at this point is starting to realize. So... I don't think he's going to stay there for long. Barca, there's rumors Barca wants to get him. And I think that would make perfect sense, especially since Mbappe will go to Real Madrid. How are they but my the God, oh. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I'm still Dode, confused. Dode, Dode. <laughs> it's Catalogian. You know the for Dodds. Dodds. La Porta only say hangouts. Exactly. But anyways, I mean, you know, that was a crap game. And I'm going to say this, I hope and pray that this, you know, rebuild era of Atletico Madrid and Barcelona finishes already. Because my God almighty, we need La Liga back as a top league again. We need Atletico Madrid and Barca back to where they used to be in the, you know, mid-2010s. Because I feel like it was more entertaining back then. But yeah, yeah. I mean... Just okay. absolute so, 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 so let me call so 87 real quick before we, we had our I'm six one dubs. 87, thoughts on the game? Yeah, it was a it was a boring game. Not really much happened, and um I don't think I'm gonna I don't think any, I don't think I'm gonna remember this game after tomorrow. No one no one will nobody will. Yeah, um at Arsenal that I think I actually want to give a shout out to Arsenal because I thought I think defensively have really improved this season last yes. season. Yep. And um because I believe prior to last season uh, prior to this season, I believe Man City always beat Arsenal. Yeah. All right, most of the times beat them. And this season, Arsenal have actually kept up with Man uh, They've actually got a good record against Man City this season. It's also interesting how Arsenal got eight points against uh, eight points and all four games against Man City Liverpool. Like, when was the last time Arsenal did that? It's been a long time, right? So, so are you saying that it's destined that they win the league this season? Mm, I, 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 I'm, I mean, you would, you would think that. But I, I still, I, I'm still. I'm, 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 I'm like, is this a good? Do you think this is a, a good result for, for, for them? Like, given the context of the game, good results, or you think they should have done more to try to win the, the game? I mean, I mean, I think they got a good result here because uh, for me, they were the better team than City. And yeah, you could be a bit critical; they didn't just show up in their attack. But really, this was more for Man City. To, like, Man City needed this win more than Arsenal, you know? Yeah. And so yeah, so for Arsenal, I think they they had the game plan right, and um, yeah, for Man City, they, they should be disappointed. Um, shout out to your boys somewhere L. The Real Madrid comeback against City broke Pep. This is interesting. Remember how City played. I remember how they lost that game. Ever si I, that was when H -H, he became whoa. a glorified terrorist. H -H. H -H, before you mm. go any further, that, let's be honest here. That semi-final that season should have been Real versus Atleti. If Atleti had, you know, killers in the quarterfinals, City would have been out because in but the no, no, but, but, but also, time, but, Let's be real. City should have won that game. I mean, that was Let's give it a start. Like yeah, but City, that was coming in a way. Yeah, no, but, but when you just look at the amount of chances that City had and the chances that they wasted, City should have won that game. Ever since then, Pep said, nah, never again. And he and ever since then, he has changed. So that game was when we now saw 
Pep become the great fighters and this and Pep now turn into his fan of form, which is now. Yeah, but um, HH, he he understands he understands what his fanboys and the English media doesn't, right? The narrative was the revisionist narrative was that uh, Man City uh, overperformed, uh, that um, Man City completely overshadowed Real Madrid, and Real Madrid went through because of Juju. HH, Man City considered six goals over two legs against Man City. But I do you know how many chances honest, that, they, that they created. No one cares. No one cares. The no, defense no, no, was no, 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 That's but, why no, but, no, 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 look, at the end of the day, they won't, but City, that's Six why... Goals. The, no, no, the whole point about this was that he changed up based on what's happened, that we con- we're not good d- 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 defensively. And because we're shifting and so many we? goals and, and we were not clinical enough, I have to now get four central defenders, I have to now get Erling Haaland, and I'm now going to become a glorified terrorist. Is what he did. Yeah, but so, they just, uh, should we respect be honest, him because he's, 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 never been, he's never been good defensively, so should we respect him to, uh, because he's decided to evolve? He's never been good defensively. In his okay, okay wait, hold on. So, first of all, Atleta versus Pep errors. Wait, who says that it's going to be Atleta versus Pep? Do we know who Liverpool are going to hire? What if you don't suck Ten Hag and get in a, a flick? Who knows what shall... So, don't, don't just... Wait, why are we assuming that's going to be a Pep wait, and Atleta error? Who? Who's last Hmm? What was the last bit? Well, that's what's Yo. What's that? 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 Um, the hitman or off targets, as Wiseki would like to say, um, <coughs> many people and pundits are talking about the current twenty-five to twenty-nine year olds not having any world-class players. Think about it. No, it's true. Like I said, that's that was my point. It's the on best... target. Wow. No, no. Yes, that's what I said. So <laughs> the, the best footballers right now are twenty-one and under. Twenty-six to twenty-nine. Could we have? Wait, did he send that dubbing before you said it, or is he just? Put the dub in. Right. Yeah, they might have to set the timestamps on that one. Yeah, exactly. Know. So, is it on target? Let's come on. Let's give it to him. No, he, he needs. Give bro, it to me. He needs bro, something he's, after bro, this. He hasn't, he he hasn't scored all season. He, he needs a goal for his confidence. Uh, it's not. It's not. You, you didn't score. The goalkeeper saved it. Nah, yeah, no, come on. He needs a goal for his. Co- Wait, Hitman, are you laughing because you, you saw this before? Wow. What's with that? Hello? What's that? Wow. <laughs> that might be a break. I did. Hitman, I was trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, break, man. <laughs> I was actually trying to run on the cape for you, bro. So yeah, so it really, it really is you, off target. You self snitch, man. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, splash. That splash. That's wild, bro. I'm not. I'm not giving anyone anything. Bro. I'm not giving anyone anything, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this will count. Rebounds count. Rebounds count, bro. Man, <laughs> Rebounds count, bro. Oh, oh my gosh, man. All right. You know what, guys? I'll see you so we'll later on this angle. Actually, no, no. Before we go, so I put up the poll. Should the EPL be inducted? 31 no, 26% says put on the review. 31% no, stop of reacting. 43% says induct that bomb ass Churchill League. It's been 12, guys. I'll see you later on Sunday night where we shall discuss EPL Wait, La Liga and, Rod- league, and Rodrigo Sporge Waldi. One love, one love, one love. No, no, what do we no, no, mean? No, no. Two time UCL winners. No, we are two time UCL winners. Two time UCL winners. Two time UCL winners.